The irrigation of the cotton here in Karamba starts with the state government letting out the required water from the dams and each farm captures their allotted amounts. This helps with the controlled levelling of the dams and making way for the usual flood waters of the coming wet season. The water catchment runs for 15 days from the 10th of December until Christmas Day. Shannon the mechanic is not allowed time off at this crucial stage as the five diesel pumps run around the clock and need to be checked constantly for any problems or breakdowns. The water is then channeled around the farm in an amazing array of pumps and channels. Urea, the fertiliser, is added to the water. How do they get the water to the plants? By man and woman power and lots of pipes. You right? We got to see Mike on sleep in action. Well, they stopped a few pipes, so we were able to see how the process works. The boys make it look easy, but the trick is knowing how much water to put into the channels without having a blowout. This is when the water gets too high and washes over the sides, breaking the channel wall. Then it's out with the shovels to fix the problems. The water goes down the main row and also wets half the row on either side. Because the level of the paddocks is so precise, the water flows gently to the other end, collects in the end drain and is then deposited back into the channel system to start the process again. Roughly each paddock is watered every 7 to 10 days over this growing season. These water sensors send information back to inform how much moisture is in the soil. These girls count the bugs on the plant so management know when to spray. It's never a dull moment out here. See the crop duster plane in the distance and the dust from the tractors laser leveling other paddocks as well as the irrigation. This is why we find Karamba a fascinating place.